Good morning, everybody. We are here. We are ready to go. Beautiful day outside today. My goodness, man. 73 degrees already. It is sunny. It is nice out there. We got Dark Bro F I F T in the chat, baby. What's going on, Dark Bro? The franchise almost, man. Peter, he is fast, dude. I'm telling you. Lonnie, what's going on? Dark Bro, the franchise. Lonnie, DD214. Peter, Lonnie, Dark Bro, Peter, Tony D. Lonnie, Dark Bro, Tony D. All of you guys. So glad to have you in here right now. Let's check the market out and see what's happening today because uh, it's, uh, it's a mixed day so far. Stocks might be doing pretty well. Cryptocurrency down a little bit on the day, so we're going to take a look at it. AMC down as well, sitting lower, 5.28% lower. Shiba Inu coin sitting at 871. It is down as well, ladies and gentlemen. Almost wiping away all of the gains we had since the beginning of 2023 here. Nearly right back down to that 770 mark, and it's going to be interesting to see if we do reach that level. We've got GameStop at the bottom right, sitting at $20.88, 0.58% higher on the day today. Bitcoin is in the bottom left. It's sitting at $27,138, 1.75% lower on the day. The NASDAQ, right around break even, 0.03% higher. We've got Dogecoin sitting at $0.07 cents flat, down 3%. Ethereum sitting at $18.07. Shiba, $8.72. Bitcoin, $27,146. Mullen Auto is at $1.40 in barcoding. Sundial, a buck seventy, down 6% on the day today. Sundial having a pretty hard hit after some very nice gains over the last two weeks. CEI sitting lower at $1.24 right now, 2% lower on the day. The SPY losing 0.32% for 11.53. BBIG, man, wow, dude. Doing a reverse split <coughs> and down, down 21% after the reverse split. Think about this, man. I think it was a 1 for 20 reverse split that it did today. And look at these all-time lows that BBIG is hitting on that reverse split there. All trust in the leadership is gone. They are running this company into the ground. And I am not going to be surprised if, if they don't make compliance because uh, they're back down below a dollar by the time that their 10 days is up. So I would really not be surprised if, if they tank and tank hard over the next couple of days to get them below a dollar and, and delisted. The leadership in that company is, well, you can't even use the word leadership. You can't even use the word leadership, man. It's a disgrace to any leaders that are out there. Highcraft Mining sitting at 38.6 cents. We've got Netflix sitting at 339. QQQ 325 maintaining positivity today. Ape sitting at a buck 60 and MPW $8.36 right now. Floating around that $8.50 mark. So that's what we're going to, nope, we're going to watch Bitcoin down at the bottom left as the day goes on. My mom is a fit chat, which stands for first in the chat. Very nice, Dark Bro. First in the chat. Heck yeah. Uh, let's see. Seems to be doing nothing since I bought it. Ah, are we talking about uh, Bitcoin? We, we, what are we talking about there? Good morning to you, Nick F. What's going on, man? 3,000% up, Milady. What do we got? Is Milady another coin, or are you just calling somebody your lady? Morning, motivators. What's going on, CD Wit? How you doing? Dark Bro is the meme of the guy, or Dark Bro is the meme of the guy with the fishing pole holding first over us. Almost at it. The franchise. You almost did have it, man. You were very close. The franchise, you guess what? You're either going to get it this afternoon or you're going to get it tomorrow, man. I'm feeling it. Hey, bro. Take a look at Mutant Pepe. Mutant Pepe is the one that you were talking about buying on BNB, right? Let's take a look at it. Dark Bro, I have a question for you. You've been wrapped Luna and weird stuff. Is it having any Coinbase, a few other wallets, or bridging, and then burning how do i find out what's happening did you hear about the fud regarding coinbase and pepe yes i did man yes i did and let me say this all right i think it's i think it's stupid i, I think it's i think it's absolutely stupid um i don't think that uh i don't think that these companies are really thinking right now it's one thing if the people that work there have a political bias, okay? I get that. And and go home with that. Don't bring it to work. One, nobody at work wants to hear about it from you. I don't even care if they're on the same side as you. Nobody at work wants to discuss it with you. They don't want to hear about it. 
and you pushing it on to your customers is literally the dumb like don't you learn it's literally the dumbest thing that these companies can do right now pushing any sort of a political bias left or right is stupid go out there and perform your business go out there and make money don't take a political stance because it is dumb and detrimental Pep uh, coinbase coming out in an email saying that pepe is an alt right hate speech or an alt right hate icon <laughs> it, it boggles my mind okay but i am going to i'm gonna have to make the assumption that either the person that wrote it or the person that approved it uh it no longer either wants to work for coinbase or the person that did that has such a a like low uh, not necessarily iq but uh, a, a low regard for a anything professional so it was a really dumb move. Should you delete your Coinbase account? I don't know, man. I don't use Coinbase to, to do much with anyway. I do have a Coinbase account. It's not deleted, but I think that, uh, yeah, Ray, that was one of the dumbest things that I have seen today. Um, literally one of the dumbest things I've seen today. We're going to turn the volume up and go. Patrick! Thank you very much for the Super Chat. Patrick says, Dark Bro is first. Dilly dilly to my boy Dark Brilly. Mm, thank you very much, Pat, for the super chat. Dilly dilly to you, Dark Brilly. 9,965 remaining. I love it. Thank you very much for the super chat. And, dude, I'm telling you, man, I, uh, I need to fill that water bottle uh, up from the, the fridge downstairs instead of the sink up here. It tastes a little irony today. And uh, I, I need to do. I need to swap that water out during the during the break here. A little too irony for me today, man. I'm telling you, mutant Pepe is what we're gonna be doing on that one. Yes, we're gonna be looking at it because meme coins are down. Is mutant Pepe up? What do we got, Dark Bro? Uh, mutant Pepe is down. Actually, mutant Pepe down big to a fifty-four thousand dollar market cap, seventy-seven percent loss on the day alone. Over the week, losing, what, 90% of its value here? Going from way too many zeros and a three. What are we at now? Way too many zeros and a two. Yeah, losing 95% of its value. Yep. 95% of its value is since it was released just then on May 4th. So over the last week, dude, 95% of its value is gone. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what we were seeing there for all-time highs. So already lost 95%. $54,000 market cap, $46,000 in volume. People are still trading it. But dude, I don't like the trend on that one, man. I don't like the trend on that one. You want this stuff to be trending up, and it's trending down right now. Uh, totally, personally, I don't like rap tokens. If you have a rap to Luna, I would swap it directly to Luna or Lunk since it's a one to one. Yeah, me to me either. But the contract is supposed to trade Luna one to one, not Lunk. That's why I bought smaller supply. Okay, if you're too far right, you have nothing left. Exactly, and if you're too far left, you obviously have nothing right. I like it, Pika. I've never, I've never actually heard of that. But that's a pretty good one. If you're too far right, you have nothing left. And if you're too far left, well, you've got nothing right. So that is, uh, Pika, I may use that. I actually, yeah, I like that. I, I like that a lot, Pika. I've never heard that. And uh, it, it is true, man. It is true. And, and here's the thing, though. Uh, clearly, I will agree with people uh, on one side more than I will people on the other. I don't know if there's anybody that just agrees with everybody. That would be kind of dumb if everybody agreed with everybody because <laughs> you can't even make a decision at that point. Um, but regardless of that, right, you, you don't, dude, it, it's like there's just certain topics, man, that you just make the decision on your own. and Just don't be annoying with. I can't stand these businesses that have to go out. Like if you're running a business, Okay. And I might be a little bit more, I might be a little harsher than some other people if you're running a business, 
but it, it might be like my maximizer and achiever strength too. If you're running a business, dude, you know, you want it to be fine-tuned and your goal is to go out there and do business, make money. What about the statement that Coinbase made is, is making money for them? What about that statement does anything to promote their business? I can't think of anything. I guess they might be trying to appeal to somebody else by bashing a meme for being some sort of a hate speech meme. But uh, it does nothing. E even if it was true, right, it, it does nothing to promote their business. So therefore, it is unnecessary. If you don't have anything good to say, don't say anything at all. If you don't have anything that is going to contribute to the growth, well, don't contribute. Simple as that, man. Come up with something that will promote growth. So, yeah, I don't know, man. You, like, dude, go home. Go home and, and scroll through Twitter and annoy people on Twitter all day long on your personal account. Like, that's what Twitter is apparently for, is annoying people with politics. Go ahead and do that. Don't do it at work. Don't bother the people that literally have to work with you. It's, <laughs> it's it's not a good look for Coinbase today, man. Not a good look for them, but I love the way Pika stated that, man. If you're too far left, you've got nothing right. And if you're too far right, well, you've got nothing left. There you go. Pika, that is, that's absolutely, that's poetry to my ears, man. Ah, uh, let's see. If you're left, you're never gonna be right, except defeat. Yeah, dude. If you too, far, I like the way Pika put it, man. If you're too far left, you're never gonna be right. If you're too far right, you never, you get nothing left, man. Ah, uh, wrecked on relaunch. Frog boobies eh, again, dude. It rogued again. <laughs> I gotta see if this is even a real coin, Pat. What are you? What are you coming in here? You're buying a coin called Frog boobies. First of all, oh my god, dude, people come up with the, alright, the good news is, I don't, I don't see that anywhere on crypto.com, or coin, uh, what is this, coin market cap, man, I don't see that anywhere on coin market cap, so, I don't know if you're messing with me, or, or not, but, uh, don't, don't buy, how is frog boobies gonna, how is that gonna do anything, man, I get it, like, it's funny, but, <laughs> oh, boy, man, people, oh, jeez, don't get wrecked a third time, all right, let's just say, don't get wrecked a third time, you've done it once, you learned, you've done it twice, well, you didn't learn the first time, you learned the second time, do not get wrecked a third time, on another rug pull, man. Please do not do it. We should make a Trump NFT with him riding a giant troll and wearing a belt of skulls with various networks written on them. Yeah, Pat, man. You, you know, Trump has his own NFT collection. He could easily make that NFT project if he wanted to. And, and the thing is, look, guys, I get it, right? You, you know, Trump's extreme. Uh, Biden is is extreme to the other. Like, it's, it's a very weird world that we live in where there's almost, like, no compromise left anywhere. I understand it, but, you know, it, Trump, Trump's got his supporters, dude. He, he's going to make money selling NFTs if he does exactly what, uh, what Pat did there. And it's okay with me because people are allowed to buy whatever they want to buy. Remember that. Now, of course, if it's like, you know, if you're buying drugs or something, don't do that. That's bad. That's bad for you, and it's bad for everybody. It's not bad to buy an NFT. It's art, man. People have been saying Pepe is massaging... <laughs> Look, I actually don't know anything about Pepe, okay? As far as, like, the cartoon goes or anything like that. Centrist Assemble, let's go. Um, I don't know anything about Pepe the cartoon. But, yes, there are some there are some crazy cartoons out there. Who really cares, man? It's a cartoon character. You know what I mean? Like, dude, Vegeta is a jerk. Goku, he's a good guy. They're cartoon characters. They're not real, man. They're not real. SpongeBob Patrick might be an idiot, but nobody, you know, gets on Patrick for like you go down the line of cartoon characters, man. They're literally imaginary characters. Oh goodness. You know, Peter, I don't know the answer to that. Something that I've never Googled. Um, yeah, so uh I don't know. I've never Googled it, I actually don't know. 
Uh, let's see. Are you gonna have to delete it too? Yeah, Pudge, you're gonna have to, man. Messin, Clay, you're the best. Pat, oh, thank goodness, dude. Oh, th I thought this dude got wrecked twice on something called frog boobies. I'm like, oh, this dude. Well, Pat, at least you, uh, at least you didn't get wrecked on that out there. And I would not be surprised if, if they didn't come up with that coin, because that sounds like something that people would buy. Don't know if it's rumors about Pet Bear or true, but it feels good, man. I, listen, I don't know. I don't know what, what rumors Pepe's got going on out there. I just know that Coinbase shouldn't be making mistakes, man. With the SEC cracking down on them right now, the last thing that they need is customers to be leaving because of a dumb political statement. Like Pika says, left or right. Hello, everyone. Seven this day, 50 shades of Croy. Oh, what's going on, Sarah? Sarah's got, like, the longest name in the chat, man. Sarah, glad to have you in here. Hopefully, you're having a great day today. Peter, yeah, but it's a wormhole. Nobody likes wormholes. I, I just put every last time in a FOMO Inu. Nice. I regret nothing. I regret not getting into it sooner, but I'm glad I got in at the tippy top. I didn't want to miss out on an opportunity like this. Nobody wants to get out at the tippy top. Oh, every last dime in a FOMO Inu. Gotcha. Not every last... You can put all your time into it as well. I put a lot of time into all of these Inus that are going on out there. Trust me. My time goes to the E-News, ladies and gentlemen. Pat, that's a fine name you got there. Pat, it is a very fine name. All the Pats in here, I love it. Uh, hi, Pat. Mine is short for Patrick. <laughs> oh, God. Wouldn't it have to be? Is anybody's name just Pat? Oh, I guess it could be Patricia, right? If your girl it could be Patricia. I was like, doesn't it have to be Pat or Patrick? There's only like three or four girls in this chat, dude. It's it's ninety like two percent males and and eight percent female viewers on this channel. So I was under the assumption, yes, that it was going to be Patrick to begin with. But is anybody's name just Pat? I don't know if that's even like an, an actual name. Just Pat. Purple becomes you, Sarah. I think it does. Where is Sarah with the purple? Maybe good, maybe bad. I don't know. Greets from Germany. I'm getting another Patrick in the chat. What's going on with all these Patricks today, man? Patrick, very glad to have you in here all the way from Germany. Your greetings from Ohio, man. Mine too, Patty. Yeah, but is Patty full or is that still just a nickname for Patricia? I think it's just a nickname for Patricia, right? I, I mean, is somebody's full name Patty? I don't even know, man. I don't even know. My goodness. Not, not, I don't even know what that means, man. I don't even know what that means right there. That's just yes or no. Everything boils down to yeses or nos anyway. Anybody holding vote? I am not holding vote. Waiting to hear about the migration. They dropped the taxes. Tony D. Aren't they already on like a version two, man? What, 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 is, what is up with all of their migrations that they're doing? Is anybody's name actually Clay? Yeah, so pudgy. Um... Yeah, there. I have met one person named Just Clay. I thought everybody that had the name Clay was named Clayton. I thought those were full names. But apparently, I've met some people with the name Clay, surprisingly enough, but it was only Clay. And I'm like, it's weird, dude. You should just go with the full name, and then people can call you Clay. Just allow yourself the full name there. But no, their name was actually just Clay. I was I was a little bit bewildered by it because, you know, Clay's not a common name or Clayton's not a common name. And uh yeah, theirs was just Clay. So I was like, what the heck, dude? You could just write Clay, but your name should be Clayton. Uh, my backup name is Pat. Everybody's got a good backup name there. My backup name. I don't even know what my backup name would be. Uh, maybe bro. Today, I identified as female, and I got the... Peter, thank you very much. Of course, you dropped the male viewers on that one, so unthank you very much for that. But thank you for padding the numbers a little bit today. Hopefully, you change them on your Google account so that uh, so that Google could pad those numbers as well. So, I can take up the space. Oh, Peter, I identify as a celestial being. There you go, man. Dark, that explains why you're always... That, no, it doesn't really explain why Dark Bro is always first. I actually have no idea why Dark Bro is... Or how Dark Bro is first. He can't get a notification. I don't even know if you get notifications. Like, Dark Bro is literally just first, man. I, I really don't understand it. V2 migrating to V3. Dropped the tax. Pepe destroyed them. Oh, dang, dude. 
Tony, that's interesting because I did. I actually let's look at Volt, man. I haven't looked at Volt in a long time, and that's crazy. If people left Volt to to jump into into Pepe. Yeah, they got hit pretty hard. Uh, okay, so over the last month, I guess, going from 16, losing 50% over the last month. I would say that that can correlate, yes, to to a Pepe loss there. I, I would say that that actually could correlate to Pepe. Pepe coming out on this day right here, people seeing it possibly leaving Volt to jump into Pepe. And, and, you know, not coming back just yet. So, uh, I do think that that's a possibility that Pepe may have destroyed Voltinu there. Bringing it down to a $46 million market cap. Dang, dude, which means that they were trading well above $100 million market cap just last month. And they're losing a lot of of traction there. That's that's kind of tough to see, man. Now, the good news is they could get wrecked even further, but they have a ton of of support in this area down here at about well honestly that's what another near 50 percent decline so they do have a lot of support on the way down in this little red area they broke through this level here yes but traders seem to be eating them up around that 55 level 55 points per coin or 5500 with 550 however you guys want to say it but how many zeros are there one, two, three, four, five, six zeros in a five does seem to be very strong support on Volt. So if they continue to fall down a little bit because of this Pepe drama and, and, and Pepe, you know, excitement, uh, 5,500 might be some decent support on on volt there rosie i don't know if you subscribe from a video if you're in here in the live stream rosie but thank you very much for clicking that subscribe button <laughs> i don't know what's going on guys but it is the first time in a long time that i am subscriber positive man first time in a long time i'm subscriber positive so thank you guys very much for clicking that subscribe button watching the channel watching the lives watching the videos all that good stuff it, two months of like declines was kind of tough to see man but but now I'm glad the numbers are going back up. Uh, let's see, coming down here. Just bought a hundred bone for eighty-five dollars. Now I hold five hundred and fifty bone. You think bone can reach a hundred dollars in two years? Uh, crypto con Raul Valdez Reyes, man. I do think that bone can go up. I think that a hundred dollars is going to be very difficult. Here's what you need to see for a hundred dollar bone. I don't think that you necessarily need to see the price dropping down, but you need to see Shibarium wildly successful. I'm talking massive amounts of transactions, massive amounts of tokens being built, massive amounts of like commercial adoption. And then I honestly don't think that it's impossible for Bone to reach a hundred dollar price point. You are also going to need a bull market. So let's let's kind of put it in perspective here. Uh, Solana is another token that soared like that. Uh, multi tens of billions of dollars of valuations on coins like Polygon's Matic, Cardano. You can see Bone reach those levels, but everything's going to need to fall into place. It is going to need massive, massive attraction because of Shibarium's wild success. If Shibarium is not successful, it's not going to go to 100 it can go up in value, absolutely. You know, it can go two, three, four, five, six dollars, but it, it is—it's not going to go to a hundred unless Shibarium is wildly successful. And even if Shibarium is wildly successful, it's not going to go to a hundred during a a bear market. It, it is something where you're going to need to see new money flowing in because they believe it's a good investment and because they're confident in the the crypto market my one-year-old son is named clayton em beautiful name for your kid there i love it we call him clay he was watching with me yesterday training him young em i like it man i don't know if he's watching with you today or not but shout out to clay clayton out there man congratulations on being one dude it's a great age Patrick! I used to volunteer as a liaison between my church, Protestant, and the local Catholic parish. The head nun was Patricia. Sister Pat, uh, the, I don't even know how to say that one right there, was Paldrick. 
my gosh, Father Pat, and they practically adopted me, Protestant Pat, into their church. 9,964 to go. Patrick, that is way too many Pats in the same... Golly, you know my whole desk is wet. How did that even... Is that lid not on? My goodness, dude. My computer's going to be broken here in a second. Thank you very much. For the authorized hydration, 9,964. Dude, it tastes like... That is some irony water there. I really have to... Whew. I really got to rinse that out, man, and, and get it from my fridge. Dude, use the reverse osmosis on that one. That is some serious iron that I'm drinking right there. If anybody thought that I had an iron deficiency, they are wrong, man, because it f feels like I'm sucking on a key right now. My gosh. Uh, let's see. Is anyone invested in clay? It's kind of a clay bro coin, right? Old rounder. I am not invested in clay. I know why I'm first. Something dark bro. I might have missed it, man. If you give a man named Rick a pat on the back, then, <laughs> then you're Patrick. <laughs> God. Oh. Yes, Pika, it is true. If you pat a man named Rick, then you are definitely a Patrick. <laughs> Dude, Pika's on fire today, man. I love it. Pika is on fire today. I think Dark Bro has a van parked in front of your house, sponging off your Wi-Fi, Clay. You know what? There was a truck parked out in front of the house today. I wouldn't be surprised. DD214, I would not be surprised about that. I am, uh... Yeah, dude, I, I did see a truck parked out today. They were cutting trees down still. There are the guys from yesterday. Don't worry. Don't worry. Debbie, thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. Don't know if you're in here right now, if you're off of a video, but really appreciate it. Patrick says, we were known as the Three Pats, a.k.a. the Holy Trinity. We got the same going on today. Get you. Oh, my gosh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me some iron, man. I'm sucking on keys over here. Patrick, man, thank you. Oh, yeah. For the authorized hydration and the beautiful shot of, dude, my muscles are going to be growing into just like straight up iron with all of this iron I'm intaking right now. Can you have like a, a, a just, can you have, I've heard of iron deficiencies, but can you have like way too much iron? Because, uh, yeah, if you guys got an iron deficiency, come on over to my house and just take a, a glass of water. You're going to be good for a year. Time to watch it. No, I filled it up, dude, because it was empty from yesterday, right? And uh, I don't know too much about underwater wells and underwater springs, but I will tell you this, right? So I've got well water at my house here, and, and it's fine probably 95% of the time. But every now and then, dude, it's like there's a patch of, of just massive iron in the water. And, uh, you know, you got to use iron out like in the bathtub and all that stuff and you spray the toilets with some iron out. And, you know, I got a water softener, make sure everything is good with that. Uh, I got reverse osmosis, usually for the drinking water, hooked up into the, the refrigerator there. Uh, and that's fine. Like, that, that takes all that, that crap out of it. But, but, dude, I was like one minute late to the live stream and I filled it up in the sink right there. You know, I must have a, a patch of iron underwater right now going through, dude, because it is, it is strong, man. It is strong. And I don't really understand that. Like, do under like when your well goes down there? I don't know if any of you guys drill wells or anything, but um, you know when you drill down, when when your well gets drilled down in there, are there literally like is it a stream? Are there literally patches of of iron? Is it because somewhere along the the way down in the ground something happens? Because it almost comes in spurts, dude, and it seems like it happens as the weather gets warmer. Because all winter long, I never really have a problem needing to use iron out, like, in the toilets or bathtubs or anything. And uh, then when it's warm, like, summertime, springtime, all of that, every now and then, dude, you'll go through, like, a patch of, of really just, you know, irony water. And I was hoping maybe one of you guys, there's 30, 49, 40 people in here, somebody could shed some light on that if you if you get experience with wells, because... I don't know too much about it, but it does come in patches. Claybro knows what I look like, so I couldn't get away with that. Yes, but I don't know what your truck looks like. Uh, Padre, oh, Powrick is the Irish name for Patrick. My goodness, dude. That I did not know. Powrick. Powrick. 
Well, how? Why is the D sound like an O, Patrick? Come on. Valric. I like it though. Hey losers, how's it going? We still may we still talking about she the only thing she what you it what she was the only thing she what you's doing is putting money into content creators' pockets by giving them something to talk about it. Alias alias. Yeah, it is true, right? You know, if you are if you're making videos and keeping people up to date on things uh, yeah, man, you know, it, it does, <clears throat> it absolutely, there's ad money associated with it, but I will tell you right now, the, uh, the ad revenue that's associated with, with videos, and I don't know if it's just specifically mine, or if it's like cryptocurrency stock related across the board, because the, the stock market and the economy is so bad right now, I'm gonna tell you, dude, it is, when you watch a Shiba Inu coin video, Please do not feel bad about contributing a lot of money to to content creators because dude one view might only be worth like a third of a cent right now dude and if you feel bad for giving somebody a third of a cent or feel like that's way too much of a contribution to make uh come back I guess come back when when the bull market is here and and brokers and exchanges are willing to pay a little bit more for ads because at least then it'll jump up to about a half of a cent instead of a third of a cent. So it, while it is true, man, while it is true that content creators do make money from you watching a six second ad before you click the skip button, um, it, it's not, dude, it's not a ton, man. It might be like a third of a cent right now per, per view that, that brokers and exchanges and these places are paying to put ads on the video so don't feel that bad alias you're not contributing to my massive wealth by watching a couple videos a, a month uh and i know that people only watch on average like three videos a month i know the statistics guys so please do not feel bad alias you may have contributed if you were along the the average viewer you may have contributed one cent with those three views over the last month, man. I appreciate the one cent, absolutely, but please don't feel like you're making me gluttonous or anything like that. Uh, not happening. <clears throat> Pika's killing me. What did Pika say? Dark guy could, but I prefer sitting. Sit down, comedy. <laughs> Doesn't do well. <laughs> Pika, I'm loving it today. P somebody brought Pika. Pika had a coffee this morning or something, man. I know she did. Maybe somebody brought it. Maybe she ordered one of those vanilla lattes or something. But Pika had a little shot of caffeine and a little extra sugar today. And I'm loving it. Pika, if you ever make it over the pond, I get you to I get you to do some stand up. There you go, Peter. Depends on the water table. My mom is on well, and hers gets like that after interesting after storms. Tony D, you know we haven't had any storms. We had a lot of rain, like last week, but it wasn't necessarily storms, right? We did have a lot of rain though. Rained like every day for a stinking week. Uh, so that's interesting. I'm gonna have to notice that, Tony. I'm going to have to keep an eye out and see if it only happens after, you know, prolonged periods of rain. It's funny, because I have cousins named Richard and Eric, and one time we were getting yelled at by their moms, and all I heard was, Patch Rick, get in here. <laughs> Pat Rick, get in here. Yeah, that's that's what it is, man. Patrick, get in there. Uh, let's see, I just remember to click the like button. Thank you very much, Serideste, Fifty Shades of Green. Guys, click the like button if you're enjoying the stream. Even if you're not enjoying the stream, please still click the like button. It does help out a lot. Patrick, thank you very much for the super chat. Patrick says, Pika, you need to bring it down to a level of 10, please. Thank you very much for the authorized hydration. Oh, man. And the beautiful shot of iron there. Absolutely love it. And yes, Pika, please bring it down to a sh just a, a quiet roar of a level of 10, please. No, I love it, Pika. Never stop. Ripple effect! Ship, 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 ship. Rocketing to the moon. Here's the thing, man. Remember that idiot judge that decided that rockets, money bags, and um, uh, upward-facing graphs were direct financial advice. God, that guy's a fool. That is a rocket ship. 
That is not an indicator of profit right there. So if anybody wants to uh, live in a subjective world like that judge, fine, man. Live in a subjective world. But objectively, that is a rocket ship. So sorry to break it to you, man. You, you can't make inferences like that and live in an inferential subjective world. Uh, fortunately for everybody else that lives on this planet, there is an objective truth, and that is a rocket ship. I got your back, Ripple effect ain't no such thing as profit guarantees in this live stream man it's dark bro too late i'm mostly gray anyway it's all right you green today i get punny when i'm over caffeinated perfect pika perfect somebody get this girl a coffee right now get her a coffee saw a few pets yesterday i'm gonna went for a walk in a Oh, gosh, man. Now the caffeine is affecting Sarah as well. Oh, no. Sarah just had an energy drink. It's too late for coffee. She had one of those Red Bulls. Ladies and gentlemen, the time is on. That's what I meant when it rains. Uh, yeah, Tony, so now I got to watch out for that, man, because it did rain all last week, and my water is super irony right now. I got to notice if it goes away when it dries up, and because I've never even thought about that. I've never even thought about that, but that absolutely could be what it is because it really just hit today, man. It really just hit today, and it was rainy all last week. So it might be the rain that gives me a an iron patch in the water there. Oh, peek a beer and it would be so much fun. I get like that when I'm under-caffeinated. Oh, God, do you guys would have to... There's no way you'd be at a perfect balance. Either you'd be going crazy or she'd be going crazy or both of you guys would be going crazy. Oh, man. Ah, uh, something's gonna happen, sir. All patties matter. They do. Except it, it, patty mayonnaise, especially. You guys remember patty mayonnaise from? All right, patty mayonnaise. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna name the show. What you? You guys gotta get this one. I don't know if people get it because Pika's Pika's too young. She might be too young for that that show there. What show was patty mayonnaise from? We should do trivia like this, and I should just get a. Uh, like get a bro sticker pack or a, a bro shirt ready or something. Do f like just stupid little trivia like that. What show was Patty Mayonnaise from? I want to know what you guys, if you got the answer to that. What about Luke, bro? The Arturo Show. We can talk about Luke in two seconds. I got to acknowledge these super chats first. Victor! 19 months of bro. Man, I love trivia. Doug, the famous ones. Got it, baby. Patty Mayonnaise was from Doug. Yes, the famous ones. I love it. Old Rounder, bro. Kraken, they know it as well. Old Rounder got it. Kraken got it. You guys are on it, man. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we, dude, I, I went to a water park last week with my, I didn't even think it was real, right? I don't remember doing it as a kid. I, I really don't. Um, I didn't think it was real that kids go, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> we just got on the expressway, man. And my nephew was like, mom, are we almost there? I'm like, dude, we've been driving for like seven minutes right now. I don't know how long you think we got to drive, but it's more than seven minutes. You can't get anywhere in seven minutes. You can't even get to the expressway in seven minutes. And uh, he's like, are we there yet? Dude, it must have been like 13 times. Are we almost there? And it was literally like one to two minutes apart. And I'm like, this, this is true. This is amazing. This is true. These kids really ask, are we there yet? Like 50 times. And... I don't know, maybe after like the 13th time that he asked or whatever, he did fall asleep and then slept until we got there. But, uh, yeah, it is true. The kids, they do ask, are we there yet? Mom, are we almost there? And, uh... It, very hard to believe, man, but they absolutely do. Every now and then, I got to throw a little bleach down the well. Tony D, my brother, I've never thrown any bleach down the well, but my brother does have to do that every now and then as well. Um, and, and, you know, he obviously lives close, but he doesn't live that close, so there's no way he'd have, like, the same water that I have. Um, he never really has a problem with iron in, in his water. He's, I'd say, got more calcium in his water than anything and i don't know dude I, 
iron, it kind of leaves the tub red and everything, but calcium, it leaves a little residue. I, don't know, you, I guess pick your poison at that point if you want some calcium or if you want some uh, some iron in your water. Either way, dude, you got those extra vitamins added into the well water there. Ripple effect! Thank you very much for the super chat. Well, I guarantee if you back ship now and hold, it's going to the, to the, to the moon, baby. Here's a, you know what? It very well could. It very well could. Um, ripple effect. Absolutely. I don't know if it will or not, but it absolutely could. Um, double, triple, quadruple. And we know from the prices we're at right now, if we get back to those all-time highs, we would 10x, man. We would 10x. So it is true that it could do it. Patrick coming in hot again with the I am Iron Man. I, dude, I am full of iron today. I really am. Guys, put your keys in your mouth right now. Put your keys in your mouth. That is exactly what I am drinking. That's what it tastes like, dude. That's that's the amount of metallic taste I have in my mouth right now. 9,961 to go. Thank you very much, Pat, for the super chat. I love it, dude. Congrats, Victor. Heck yeah. Congrats, bro. I feel old. The famous ones. Don't feel old, man. Don't feel old. Doug is not a long time ago. It's still waiting for the... <laughs> Victor's been patiently waiting for the wrench for like two years now. <coughs> Victor, man. Uh, Victor, I am very I I am very sorry that Victor's been waiting on a wrench for two straight years now. I, I do feel really bad about that. I really do, man. Michael Allen! Pfft. I love how the dude comes in here. Pfft. Crypto. Kids. Pets. Girlfriends, or GFs, Clay's boring, dude, I, alright, I gotta tell you this in a second, fist bump, fist bump, fist bump, fist bump, baby, I love it, Michael Allen, thank you very much for the super jet, alright, talking about my boring car, uh, I really was thinking the other day that my car is boring, uh, I was driving, and, and another silver Kia Forte was pulling up behind me as I was driving. And I'm like, dude, I I probably have one of the most basic cars. That, I like my car a lot, all right? My car's never really given me any problems. The air conditioner compressor went out in it one time, but it was under warranty. They fixed that. And, uh, and then there was one some, there was some sensor that I had to get replaced and obviously regular maintenance, all, you know, normal stuff. I really do like the Kia Forte, but I was sitting there thinking, dude, I probably drive the most basic car, man. It's silver. Okay. Well, it doesn't even have like a cool color to it. It's just a basic silver car and, and it's a little Kia Forte, literally, you know, no sport whatsoever to it. So this is like the basic of the basic that you can get. It's not even a flashy color. And, uh, but I, I will say, man, I will say that I do like that car. So you can make fun of it all you want. I can make fun of it too, man. I know that it doesn't get any more basic than that, man. But I do enjoy the Kia Forte. Guy, uh, get it tested. You may need a new water so softener. And use I do, actually. Uh, uh, Tony D, man, I, I use the red out salt in the in the water softener and i actually just put more in today it still did have salt in it but I, I filled the salt tank back up today because it was kicking up today you know what i mean so i i keep the salt in it i do all that stuff i use the red out salt i actually buy my salt dude there's a salt place i could walk to the salt place if i wanted to but i'm not going to to do that and carry 50 pound bags of salt back to my house one by one or two by two that would be nuts so I do drive right right there and, and grab some salt. But, oh yeah, dude, basically anybody that lives on, on this street or in this area has got to use the red out salt. So uh, I do. I use the red out salt. Water softener seems to work. It's just it gets really bad right here in, at times, and I don't know why. I, I could probably ask that old man. It's like an old family-run shop that, that sells the salt right there. I could probably go down in there and, and ask that old man why. Um, you know, why things get so bad or why it gets bad. It, dude, he would probably be like, you know, sit down, son, have a have a seat. Let me tell you about the water around. He would probably love that, dude. And I probably would be late to the live stream today if, uh, if I went down there and asked him because he'd probably take a while to tell me. 
But yeah, dude, it, it is everybody around here, and I do use the red hot salt. Clay, I know you can't give financial advice, but if you have 5,000 to invest, would you put it in Bitcoin for a 3 to 5x or put it in alts? Cheers. Uh, Ray, me right now, man, let me tell you this. If I had 5,000 that I wanted to put, you know, into crypto, I would, I would probably put the majority, and you're only going crypto. Let's say you're not even thinking about stocks, okay? I would, I'd probably put the majority of that into, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum or, you know, a larger coin like that. Why? I am absolutely sick, dude, of, of losing and seeing downside and all of that. Now, at the same time, people don't necessarily get excited about 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 45, 50, 60, 70, 100% growth. Uh, over the year people need a little bit of excitement and, and let me tell you don't get don't get addicted to the excitement either okay there is something beautiful about truly passive growth that you don't have to worry about it or you don't have to you know kind of think about it there there is this certain excitement to that as well right you wake up tomorrow you know your money's going to be there and you wake up tomorrow you know your money's going to be slowly growing like there's a beauty to that as well. Don't get me wrong, but if you kind of if you kind of need a, a reason to stay committed and you need a reason to kind of want to invest, you know maybe take five hundred out of it, maybe take a thousand out of that, and and you know either actively trade or buy some of those more exciting altcoins. Uh, it, it really just depends, dude. If you want to go full in, like I'm not even going to think about crypto, I'm going to just sit there and, and let it happen, I'd probably go all Bitcoin and Ethereum or something. Um, but dude, if you if you need to stay excited about it, yeah, I, I'd still put right now the majority in um, into Bitcoin or Ethereum and, and then some just to keep me excited and, and keep me having fun, I guess you could say into some of the old coins there man just live stream the old man on your phone i love that jb i'm telling you i think a lot of people actually would like that it is funny dude you know i know it's family run dude because you go in there and they got like the two grandkids that work the cash registers every once in a while and help you load the salt up into your car and then the old lady is usually the old lady's usually behind the cash register and they make the uh they make the kids go out there and and load up the salt bags and all that stuff um when clearly i could just take it and put it in the trunk of my car but they make the kids go out there and load it and then the old man's usually just sitting back there doing nothing i'm sure dude because i did go in there when i first bought this house and i was hooking up the reverse osmosis system okay and that dude he he gave me a lesson on reverse osmosis now i don't remember any of it but i do remember the guy was giving me a lesson on which reverse osmosis system is the best all i wanted was was a little filter to you know replace the one that i had and he gave me a nice lesson on reverse osmosis so i know for a fact i could go down there and i could get a lesson on why my water is iron um a very good lesson too probably a, a good lesson that would actually make a very nice youtube channel dude it, it, it pro or a youtube video you know what i mean like people want to know the answer to that i guarantee that old man has the answer to it i, I guarantee that he does and then people would watch that they'd be like, oh okay so that's what's going on with my well that's what's going on with my water Sorry, asking which do you prefer? Uh, Dark Bell Lambert, I saw that, I saw that, I saw that, 5,000 by SHIB. Ripple effect, all in on SHIB, baby. Let's get started. Heck yeah, man. Uh, let's see, Dilly Dilly, if you ain't first, you last, baby. If you ain't first, you last. I like it. Uh, oh, she's my baby. I've had her for nine years. Something I know I missed out. Sorry, guys. Paid off and everything. There you go, Dark Bro. Very good. I'm a Ferrari guy, but I like how they're more exclusive in the history of them. Very nice, uh, Michael. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'd probably, I, I don't know if I'd go Ferrari or over, over Lamborghini either. They are a little bit different. They, they, they are different, but, uh. I don't know if I have a passion for one of them over the others or not. Ah, uh, let's see. My neighbor lets me borrow his Audi R8 on special occasions. The Lambo engine is sick. Well, dang, dude. My neighbor doesn't have a Lamborghini. 
But, dude, I'll tell you, some, some people, they, they got a lot of toys. My neighbor, man, he's got, a, he's got a Mustang that he never drives anywhere. He just pulls it out of his garage and revs the engine every once in a while. Dude's got a boat. Uh, they got all types of four-wheelers and and everything else, man. Uh, like, you know, three trucks, brand new Jeep. I understand some people, they spend a lot of money on their on their toys and stuff. <clears throat> Uh, I'm jealous. I drove a Lamborghini Huracan Evo once, and I've been hooked ever since. What did I miss? Uh, did you look at ladies? Combo, we did not look at ladies, man. L-A-D-Y-S. Somebody did say m'lady at the beginning of the stream, but I did not know... <laughs> I did not know if they were talking about a coin or if they were just saying something about my lady. So, my lady meme coin. <coughs> my God, dude. Going from what? A $20 million market cap to a... Or like a $15 million market cap to a $100 million market cap today on $250 million in volume. Oh my goodness. This bad boy jumping today. So it has been out listed on Coin Market Cap for a week. It's done some very nice 24 hour volume, guys. Two million, three million dollars in volume. And then ripping today. Oh oh four. Yeah, man. You're seeing like a nice 5x gain. You're seeing like a nice 5x gain in the price of my lady here. Golly bum, dude. I don't know how these people pick the coin that is going to run. Where's the volume coming from? Uniswap, Dodo, Gate.io. Man. My lady. I ain't chasing it, dude, but who the heck knows? Milady might be able to touch a billion-dollar market cap by the end of this week. It's just the same way that Pepe, Pepe did. $97 million in market cap. Bounced above $100 million just a couple of, I guess, a couple of minutes ago, right? Maybe a couple of hours ago. It was up above a $100 million market cap here. Back down just slightly to a $97 million market cap, man. Milady taking off. Chapo, we'll look at it in two seconds. Oh, gas is expensive, so I have toys that go nowhere. Pat, Pat that's probably the way to go, dude. I mean, his toys don't go anywhere either. They they rarely go out on the boat. Um, uh, He never drives that Mustang. He might pull it out like once a month or something and rev it up and take it up and down the road. But, yeah, dude, they, uh, it's crazy, too, man. It's crazy. You know, you work all day, and you do stuff all day. You go buy these toys. I will tell you this. They they do ride the four-wheeler a lot, man. They got two kids back there, and, and she drives those kids around that four-wheeler, around the yard on the four-wheeler all day long. Those kids love to get on that four-wheeler and just ride around. And then in the evening, he comes home, and, and he rides the four-wheeler up and down the yard with him. Those kids love that four-wheeler. So that's a good toy that they got. And the boat, man, I just, I don't know, honestly, for with how how often people use stuff like that, I don't even know if it's really worth the maintenance and, and cost of having it. Uh, what, what was I going to look at? I was up all night with ladies. Don't tell the way. I will not, Kombu. I will not tell anybody about it. I promise. Elon tweeted about lady last night. Is this true? Or are we talking about something else? Uh, Clay, what do you think about oh, Bronson? So I, I did look at Voyager. I was supposed to look at something else, though. Oh, Chapo. We'll talk about we'll talk about Voyager real quick as... Uh, this looks like it's Chapo here. Um, I don't know if that's the right Chapo or not. But so Voyager, I, I did read through their thing. I don't know when they are uh, allowing this to take place. Their app, the last time I looked, was under maintenance. But the Binance deal, obviously not going through. We are getting 35% of our claim. 
I think, dude, it is absolute robbery that, that these executives still get paid, that these lawyers get paid, and and the customers get just screwed, man. There's no other way to put it. Yeah, and I'm not making that like a, a, a disgusting term or anything, but customers get absolutely screwed. You get seventy, you get thirty-five percent of your money back, and if they can collect it. They don't even care if they can collect it now because they, they've already got their money. We'll talk about this. If they can collect money from Three Arrows Capital and, and these other places that went bankrupt, you may get another third, up to another 35%. So a total of 70% of your money back. We are getting 35% of our money. So if, if they owed you 100 bucks, you're getting 35 bucks. If they owed you 1,000, you're getting 350 bucks. If they owed you 10 grand, you're getting $3,500. Um, I think that is stupid. I don't think the the executives and people that work there should get paid for an entire year as this goes on. Winding down costs and litigation fees, $135 million. The executives and all their severance packages, the lawyers and the one-year litigation, they walked away with $135 million to destroy a company. I think that that is robbery. I think that they should be ashamed of themselves. And I really, really do not like that part. Especially knowing that we don't even have a chance of getting back the additional you know, 65% of our money. But maximum that they'd be allowing is an additional 35%. So Bronson, I think it's robbery, but I'll tell you this, dude, I am, I'm going to take my crypto off of that platform the first day that I see I'm able to take it off of that platform. I'm not waiting for uh, them to mail me a check. I, I think that they, they could totally say, well, screw everybody. We're not mailing anybody checks. I think that they could say, well, we've only got three people working now. It's very difficult to personally write all and write and mail all of these checks. It's just, it's very difficult to do. So it might take another year. I am not going to give them the opportunity. The first day that I can take my crypto off, I'm taking it off. I'll leave it in crypto. I don't need to cash it out. But uh, yeah, dude, I, I think that, I think that's ridiculous, man. I really do. Uh, just keep peeking your Pikachu Lambo. If and when Moon, yes, a bright yellow Pika Lambo would be amazing for Pika there. Uh, Pika and ride. What about me, Michael? Can I also ride in your Ferrari any day? Because I would also like to take a ride in your Ferrari. Don't just exclusively give Pika a ride. Let me get a ride too, man. Has anyone added a 25th pa uh, pass race to their ledger? Literally adds an additional pin and opens up a secret wallet that people can't access if they find your keys. It's like having two ledgers in one. I have not done that, JB, but JB, that does sound really cool, man. Um, that's true. You can do that with a Lambo. Can't do that with a Ferrari or they repo or sue you. Do what now? Make it a Pika? You can't make it a Pika Ferrari? Is that what we're saying? Oh my gosh, dude. Is that true? Can't you do whatever you want with your Ferrari? Uh, Scott, it's just a joke. It was a glitch, la glitch last year and I had $3 million. Yeah, I remember that glitch. It was a beautiful day. By the time I looked, I had several hundred thousand dollars after the glitch in Shiba Inu coin was over with. But I think it was your baby doge glitch, right? Your baby doge glitch had you going on that one. Ferrari has two people for doing things to their own car. That's why I don't... Well, dude, forget that, man. Forget Fred. Like, if Ferrari won't let you do it, what, you, what you want to your own car, nah, dude. I'll never even consider them. I liked them until you just said that right there. Guys, it's 1 o'clock. Get your names in the chat right now. We're going to do some shout-outs. We will be back this afternoon with a live stream. We will be back this evening with videos. Appreciate every single one of you for keeping the chat going, keeping it awesome, and having some fun in this down market, man. We're going to do these shout-outs, guys, and then we'll be back. Click the like button on the way out if you haven't done so already. And if you're brand new in here, thank you very much for watching. And please click the subscribe button if you haven't done so already, guys. Shout-out to Bronson, man. See you later. JB, enjoy your day, man. Kombu, Roulette Wheel, Michael Allen. Pika, see you later. JB, Michael, Dark Pro, Dark Pro, J-Bones, baby. Asking for Bronson. Ship to the dollar soon, J-Bones.
soon. Dark bro, man. See you later, Tony. Franchise. Peace out to you. Pika power. Enjoy it. Kombu, man. Apes and burritos. I love it, dude. Roulette wheel. Ready to silver. See you later, man. Tony D. Michael. Come at, can't mess with perfection. <laughs> You could. You could. You can do whatever you want to your car, man. You can blow it up if you want. JB, man. D214, Kombu, Michael, Pika Power, all of you guys. You know what time it is. You want to say it with me, old rounder, Bronson, John Jay. Say it with me, the famous ones. Until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.